Hey everybody, welcome back, Falcon, Holy Potatoes, the Weapon Shop, episode number 10. Uh, really quickly before we start the episode off, I should say, this is going to be my first day of recording of um, Holy Potatoes in quite a while. As a matter of fact, the first nine episodes were recorded probably within three days of release of the game itself. So as you can imagine, I had a little bit of a backed up uh, pre-recorded session ready to go for the channel itself. This will be the first real time I've had, you know, well I guess time. With Holy Potatoes after the updates, after all the tips I've been getting in the comments, so expect a lot of things to actually change going forward from this episode onward, and hopefully I'll be doing a bit better. Not that we're doing bad, I mean, we're not doing bad whatsoever. This is mo mostly for the min maxi sake of the issues that I've been having here, but I've been reading a lot of your comments, and thank you for that, it's actually helped out a lot. Let's get underway over here, and actually, oh, some of the updates, by the way, there's actually now a legitimate pause feature, which I'm happy for. And if you go into research, you can actually make these weapons a lot easier now. So it's not all kind of like, you know, rumbled about as it was before. Now there's actually a little bit of neatness and order to it, which I'm actually excited about. We'll probably research a few more of these weapons soon. As a matter of fact, we should probably start researching something new right now. Maybe get a new bow happening. I think that's not a bad idea. So this will be, what, three days and 1.5 hours? That's, you know, decent. And we're looking for accuracy, right? Who's going to be my dude for this job? Well, unfortunately right now, I have you focus mostly on... What is it? Uh, your focus mainly on magic right now. You and Bulk Bogan kind of are. No, no, you and Volundur Smith. Uh, sure, you know what? Just go over here. I'll let you do it. 651. Go research it. Have a ball. Have a good time. Let's go into the world map itself. And meanwhile, that's going on. We'll have... Should we do some exploration, some training? I guess we'll do some training even though I'm kind of a little bit broke. But I guess we could probably use the upgrades on some of these people here. So let's find out... Oh, actually, wait, wait a second. How much do you need to level up here, out of curiosity? Let's pause you momentarily. Bulk, you're at level 4. By the way, Bulk, uh, you're no longer Bulk Bogan, now you're just fucking racist Bogan. My lord, I can't believe... I can't believe that news came out, man. Bulk Bogan. Grew up watching him, my man. Anyway, um, Laura Craft, how far are you from leveling up? 94 away, as a matter of fact, and Volundur Smith, you are quite a bit away. As a matter of fact, we could probably even pump you up because you could use a few extra levels relatively easily here. Yeah. So, I'm thinking Volundur Smith and probably Laura Craft go out to train a bit, meanwhile, Reset Peters does this thing over here. So, let's find out here. In terms of training, we're looking at 55 experience, huh? 760, 55 experience, not too bad, but is there something better? Let's find out. 45 and 80, that's the one. It's gonna cost us a thousand, but so be it. So, Laura Craft, uh, yeah, because then she'll hit at level 5 soon enough afterwards, so we'll send her over here. Great. And Volondor Smith, you are also gonna be coming to the same class with, um, Laura Craft here, so there you go. Bulk, you racist potato, you, you just get to hang out over here and have a good time, and watch the dog, feed the dog while you're at it as well. Now we just kind of wait around, and we might as well just skip this here a bit forward, go a bit faster, etc, etc. We should be wrapping it up here, and there you go. So, Lorecraft. <clears throat> Not exactly level 5, but you can see, just about. Alright, perfect. So one more, probably, let's see exactly how much you're looking for here. Six more experience, so probably one more weapon will probably level you up. I'm happy to hear that. So you come over here. You, my friend, are also done. Great. Get you up to level 3. Not too bad. You come over here now, and let's pause this momentarily. You should be slowed down, not going too fast here. Volandor Smith, let's see, what are we looking at here now? Ah, uh, like a hundred and... No, hundred and ten, roughly. Eh. Maybe some other class soon, but I'll hold off for a second. Let's go forward, let's wait for... Actually, Reset Peter still has a significant amount... Uh, 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, let's do four an exploration here really quickly. Just so that we're doing something meanwhile. We'll send Laura Craft over to here, sure, why not? And then, we will send... I guess we'll send Racist Bogan over to this world. Alrighty. Great. So, Volandor Smith, it's just me and you right now, buddy. Laura Craft should be coming back, Reset Peter should be wrapping that up pretty soon, there we go. Research is complete, you can now forge the Hunter's Bow in your shop, great. Reset Peters, come over here, let's pause the game here momentarily. Laura Craft is back, brought us back a few items, great. You come back to your speed station, and Bulk Bogan should be back now. Thank you, my racist potato. You hang out over there. Alrighty. So, I think we're ready now to actually forge this weapon. 
Now, some of the things that I want to talk about is that um, I, I failed a few contracts in the past in some of the episodes, and I was kind of like, how did I do that? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I found out something really important thanks to your comments is that stuffing people that don't necessarily benefit from a certain station, like say, for instance, Volandor Smith over here, right? Um, he's only speed four. But at times in the past, I would put him over in speed just to give like two people here and two people here. And that's fine if you're trying to actually finish a weapon in a certain amount of time, because then you need to actually go by the speed limit. But if there's no time limit involved with it, I'm only, I guess, degrading the value of that weapon's speed because he's not great at it, so he's only actually adding like one speed over time. And that's also increasing the faster the weapon will complete. So essentially, I'm increasing the speed of the weapon to be completed, but I'm only pumping minimal stats into it. So I, I hope that makes sense, but that's something I read from the comments and also by some research on my own. So yeah, that was an issue on my part. So there's no uh, other way around that one. That was my bad completely. So let's see if we can actually, you know, fix our issues here going forward. Um, let's see. So we want to make the bow for sure, right? So let's see here. Uh, bow. We want to get Hunter's Bow over here. So for the Hunter's Bow, we're looking at, obviously, accuracy here. Now, who needs to be leveled up? Terry Treehugger goes up to level 25, so we could probably think about maxing him out. You're already maxed, and you are maxed. So only Terry Treehugger is left. His primary speed is going to be speed, uh... His primary stat is going to be speed, however. So, accuracy is not something we're looking for, it's just speed, and just a bow. Alrighty, simple enough. So what I should do here, then, is, um, your speed, so you're fine. Hulk Hogan is that? Oops, nope, nope, stop it for a second. Um, excuse me, can you guys not take the same spot? Oh, you guys just swapped areas, that's interesting. Um, so you are 53 speed, so obviously come over here. What is this? You have been invited to this year's Golden Hammer Awards to be held on Month 4, Day 15. The awards will be presented on Most Accurate Weapon, Most Powerful Weapon, and the Overall Best Weapon. All Lawn Legendary Weapons completed after the Golden Hammer Awards last year will be complete, uh, available for competition. Okay! Uh, <laughs> uh, well, we had a hard time with the competition last time around. I got caught cheating a few times, and secondly, I had no idea that you had to sell the weapons, because I was I'm an idiot. So maybe this time we'll do a bit better, we'll see. Anyway, go back to this weapon here. Speed and bow, correct? So you, as you can see, 38 speed, ideal. You are ideal. So here's what we're doing. Rosette Peters, you stand by. And you, actually, you don't even have to stand by. You could go explore meanwhile. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so let's send, um, homeboy here to go explore. Go explore up here meanwhile. There you go. And, and Rosette Peters, I, I changed my mind. Reset. come back here, buddy. Well, said Peters, get, get over here, stop resting, go and um, send to the world map, and let's do some exploration as well. Ah, uh, Tower of Root Beer, sure, come over here as well and check it out. Alrighty, so I'm gonna send these people to explore here meanwhile, what do you mean these people? Um, they're gonna be exploring, and Hulk Hogan and Laurel Craft will be focused on making this bow, not exactly fast, but only focused on speed, so it should be a really great bow because of that. Let's go forward, we might as well get that bow forged though, huh, Falcon? You know, get it underway here, there you go, so start it up. So this is your job now, and we will... Choice of fate. An old potato peeps in and asks you if you like some candy. Yes, I would like some candy. Oh! Reset Peters is losing attack for three days. Three days? That's still on, as a matter of fact. Good thing we're not focused on that. So we'll do the speed boost, obviously, and we're going to be going with... Uh, hmm. Well... Well... 784. That's a little bit too much money. 392. I'm gonna go with Laura Craft on this one just because, you know, she's not necessarily bad shape about it. But, um, nice. No, stop avoid. Stop with the attack power. We're just looking for speed. That's fine, whatever. But I don't want to spend extra, any extra money right now. So, as you can see right now, we should be able to hit a pretty decent speed marker over here. And remember, we're gonna hit, hit it up with the uh, 40 boost anyway. So, this will be a really act a speedy bow for Homeboy over here. You guys are back from your stuff, right? Good. Uh, let's send you back out to the world map one more time and go and explore over here. I don't want you back over here for now. And then bulk, much the same for you, send you back to the world map. And you can go explore up here meanwhile. Up. Oh, stressed. Laura Craft is stressed, so we're going to have to give her a little bit of a vacation pretty soon. So, again, we're looking for a speed, correct? So, light. Next. Add enchantment. Alrighty. So, 40 is going to be pretty good. Eh, whatever, let's just hunt layman. Oh, by the way, I want to do something. If we're going to be going with the series forward, um, from this point onward, leave weapon suggestion names. Or, is that right? No, no, no. Leave suggestion for weapon names. That's what I meant. So, um, in the comments, let me know. Falcon, can you, if you make a bow, can you name it blah, blah, blah? If you make an axe, can you name it blah, blah, blah? You guys leave me your suggestions. Obviously, it's going to take a while for me to actually implement those because I record at a time. 
But next recording session, I'll look at the names and I'll start adding the names that you drop in the comments below for suggestions of weapon names. So, everything cool with that? Good? Alrighty, excellent. Let's uh, continue going forward here. And let's see, Bogan is back. Good. Come over to your attack station. You should be max at this point, right? Yeah, you're already absolutely max. So we could change your class now. Let's do that. Stronger class available. Great. So, let's see. She's got Craftsman under control and she got Designer. So now we could go up to Inventor, which is actually attack and speed boost completely together. This goes up to level 7, by the way. Interesting. So then we'll have to unlock this and this to go upwards again, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. So 400? Yeah, so we might as well, obviously. Increase her up to an inventor. Great. So one of our dudes is now finally up to the second level of um, skills over here. That's great to see. Now, you were stressed a while ago. That's probably why she was stressed, because she was working on that weapon by herself. Because I sent out Bog Bogan. That could be the case. That was my bad. Um, Alrighty, so... Let's, uh... Not till we sell this weapon. I want to do some vacations, but we want to... First and foremost, get some money under our belt here. So yeah, just come back and uh, hang out here. Now, Reset Peters is done. Great. Let's put you in your magic station. Alrighty. So everybody's back. Everybody's good. Let's go ahead and... I could go and sell that weapon now, or I could just make another weapon and sell them in bulk. And I've heard it's probably better if you sell them in bulk in terms of the bonus that you get. So let's go ahead and forge something else now. I would like to research another weapon, but that's going to take time. And we are trying to meet this new deadline for the potato thing, right? The notice, the award shit coming up. Where is that one at? Weather report. I'm not looking for the weather report. What's the, um, you don't, you don't tell me the, when the next competition's at? Huh. Apparently not. Hero, no. Notice, no. Doesn't tell you when the next competition's at, I already forgot it. Anyway, alrighty, so let's see here. If we sell this weapon now, I guess we'll hit our next objective as well. Which I guess we could do. Let's go ahead and just forge a new weapon then. Alrighty, so let's see. Oh, the problem is we have to send her out to train because she's going to be level 1 now. How much does she need? 75 for an experience boost? Ah, You know, let's just go sell that weapon now to get a little bit extra money. So, sell weapons and we want to sell it to Terry Treehugger. Where does this guy live at? Where do you live at, my friend? I think you're here, right? There he is, Terry Treehugger. So we'll sell this guy, this weapon, and we'll sell it off with, um, I guess, Boke. Bogan happens to be our best merchant, huh? Alrighty, Boke. It's gonna be on you, my friend. Start selling that weapon. Meanwhile, I am going to send... What's her face over to train? AD experience should be at least good for one level, so that'll be good. You train over here. And we'll send... Hmm. How are you doing, Reset? You're neutral, and you... Volundor are... Mm, can you use a level? You could use a level, but uh, a class will not level you up to four. It's going to take you a bit longer, so no. Instead, let's just do an exploration then. Wit Reset Peters over here. Volundor, Smith, you hang out here for a while. We'll go forward. Wait for these things to actually finish up in the queue. Let's feed Doggy Man over here. Bog Bogan has a cellar. I'm not surprised who it is. Of course, Terry Tree Hugger. And that should max him out. Great. So Terry Tree Hugger will sell that to you. Yes, and... Should be back pretty soon. You are back from your training. Oh, you are depressed. Oof. <laughs> oh, we should probably have you go on a vacation pretty soon. Alright, just give me a second, I'll send you out. Bulk Bogan, bring me back money. You're also stressed out as well. We got a little good, good money for now, too. We got this guy maxed out. That should, by the way, finish our objective over here, too. S rated bow, great. Boak, you come over here. Oh, Agent 46 is back. Hey, Falcon, I've been thinking. We should move. Oh, where to and why? We're doing so well here. You should start selling your stuff to another region. That's the whole wide world out there and you're wasting time in miso soup marshes. There's so much starch to be made outside of this place. Oh, well, I didn't start blacksmithing to make money. Oh, yeah? Why did you do it then? Uh, <laughs> you asked me to. That's not a very good reason, but I'm glad you're here. You turned out to be a very good blacksmith. We should move. Hey, Agent, do you mean it? Mean what? That we should move? No, that I'm a good blacksmith. I've just been wondering if I am. You see, I haven't been a blacksmith before, and... Of course you're a good blacksmith. You're a great blacksmith. If I didn't know better, I'd say your weapons could have come from your grandfather himself. Anyway, listen, a new region with heroes starved for weapons is a jackpot we need to be hit. Once we've equipped them all, we can move on to the ne next one and make uh, all that money again. It's a perfect plan. That makes sense. I guess we can do it. Don't guess. We are going to do it. Ah, I just realized something. I need to toilet train Starchy all over again. 
Alrighty, so we can now move. Interesting, interesting indeed. Alrighty, let's see here. You are done with those items. Great, let's send you over on this side. So let's find out. My people are again depressed right now. So, uh, you are fine for the meantime. Bulk, you are vacation needed. <laughs> yeah, I could. you could really use a vacation both in-game and in real life, Hogan. And let's see here. Alrighty. Uh, we have almost 4,000, which is decent enough for a vacation. Let's go to the world map here and go on vacation. Let's see here. Tower root beer. So, bulk, go on vacation there. And we will do this as well with uh, Laura Craft here. And go on vacation. Alrighty. So, both of you on vacation. Meanwhile, this is going on. I guess I'm going to have an exploration going on. Oh, wait, wait. Where's that new region that he talked about? Next region, Hillbilly Hollow. Am I... Like, if I go there right now, am I stuck there? I don't necessarily want to get stuck there right now. I'm going to wait till we get our people back, because I'm worried that if I click on it, it's going to be like, Oh, hey, you're you're stuck here for life, and I'm not ready to move. Or maybe I am. I guess I probably am, huh? Let's go to the next region. You need to have all your smiths... Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. So, meanwhile, they're over there on their vacation, getting better. We'll explore with Reset Peters over here. Great. Volander Smith is me and you in the shop here. Meanwhile, wait for these knuckleheads to come back. Pay these arriving soon. You will need to pay the Smiths a total of $38.49. Uh. <laughs> you don't really have that money, do we? I guess we're going to have to make a weapon or maybe go into a contract here pretty soon. So you're elated now. Great. Get your ass back over here. Laura Craft, you're also elated. Get over here. And then you, my friend, are back from exploring. Hang out over here. Let's slow down time. Great. So you guys should be feeling a bit better now. Don't look tired to me, okay? You should be elated right now. Alrighty, so as you can see, her main focus now is attack over speed. So, you know, she's not exactly the greatest at the speed now. But, you know, it's we have to wait for Bogan to finish up before we can switch her up here. And then maybe Bogan will be switched back to speed after he goes up to the next uh, tier of classes. So for now, let's see about doing a contract, maybe? Ooh, medium hard hard? No, I don't think we can actually do this right now. So, instead, we should... We need money for payday. So, let's just forge ourselves a weapon here really quickly. Now, the only problem is, is there anybody else to sell to? I guess we could just sell it to whoever. Uh, well, there's one I jack. Accuracy, and he likes daggers and wands. Accuracy, dagger, and wand, huh? Yeah, I guess we, we, guess we could sell it to him. We haven't sold to him after all. There's also Rogue, who likes speed and accuracy, and daggers. So we have an Accuracy Speed Dagger, or Speed Accuracy Dagger, and we also have an Accuracy Dagger. Alright, so in terms of accuracy though, I don't think we're that great. Volandor Smith's 38 of 30. So yeah, we don't necessarily have the most amazing accuracy people right now available to us. I guess it would have to be both of you guys in accuracy, and then Bogan and her could probably go elsewhere, do some exploring meanwhile. So let's toss you over here. Reset Peters, get over here. Now... We are going to send to the world map. Ah, bu, 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 bu. We'll send Laura Craft to explore over here. And then we'll send uh, Bogan to explore over here. Pause the game momentarily. We're going to go into forging and we want to get the dagger for Deadeye. So accuracy, dagger, wand. We'll go ahead and make this Chris knife and we'll start it up right now. And again, we want to focus on accuracy, so we will. Now, who do we want to use for this? I guess we'll probably spend a little bit of money because Bald Smith isn't really great at this. We'll just use uh, Trevor Phillips over here. Does it get me stats that are almost on par with my dude would have gotten, probably? But maybe a little bit higher, like two per strike. Not really great, but whatever. It didn't cost me too much. So, let's go ahead and forward time. It's going to take him a bit longer to finish only by two themselves, right? But at least it'll just be focused on accuracy, so it should probably give me a better stat and also maybe a better ranking as well. So you're done. Let's send you back to the world map here to explore meanwhile, because we're not ready for you to come back. Otherwise, you'll start upgrading other stats, and we don't really want that happening. In Laura Craft, we will do much of the same with you. Mm, nope, not training. Well, actually... Can she use training because we just um, switched her over to something else? I believe we did. Oh, but we're looking for money for payday. Yeah, we can't really spend money right now. Uh, so just go and explore over here. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so you guys leave, go explore. I will be ready to have you guys back pretty soon here. I just need this weapon to finish up. So looking at 104, 107, 111. Not too bad. We'll actually hit it this with the accurate stone. Alrighty, so we will sell this pretty shortly. Yeah, yeah. 
Alrighty, accuracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's pause game here momentarily. You are back. Great. Go to your station. And then you are also back. Go to your station over here. Reset Peters, you can come and hang out over here. Let's uh, slow down time. And let's try to make another weapon and then we'll go sell both of them, maybe? Yeah. So, let's go for the other dude. Remember, there was also another dagger for Rogue. He wants dagger, speed, and accuracy. So, but for this one, we could probably have Bulk and Laura Craft hang out over here in the speed area. And then you could come over here now. Excuse me. Come over here. Alright, so you guys hang out here. Speed and accuracy will work out pretty fine. We'll do Forge. We'll do the Chris Knife one more time. Start this one. Everybody gets to work on this shit. And, um... Uh, was it speed or accuracy do you want? I think he wanted more speed than accuracy, right? Or was it accuracy speed? I don't think we can do it unless we go to sell Oh, we can. All right, perfect. Speed and accuracy. Great. Speed, accuracy, dagger. Great. Good to know. So back to the workshop. We want to go with speed as our boost. And we'll use... Uh, do we spend a little bit of money for this guy? Ah, fuck it. Let's just use Lara Craft so she gets a little bit more experience under her belt. 36, not too bad. I'll take it. Alrighty, so let's speed this up here momentarily, and we're going to go sell both of these weapons once we wrap it up here. I think we'll probably start wrapping up the episode, too. Tsunami, there's a 10-meter wall of water coming right at you. Grab onto something. The weapons you are forging has been damaged. We lost 11 speed. Horseshit. God damn it. God damn it, RNG, all the time. Don't you gotta mess with my balls all the time. Uh, he likes speed and accuracy second. Our accuracy, by the way, came out pretty low when you consider it. Uh, we'll use the speed one. I mean, he didn't want speed after all, so sure, we'll do that one. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it up here, guys. We will sell both of our weapons next episode because we need money for payday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. It does mean a lot. Tune in for the next one. And again, keep leaving your tips. And also, leave names for weapons. I will be using those names that you suggest in future episodes. I will catch you next time.